What is going on guys, Esoteric Rider here. I'm doing things a bit backwards today because I thought I was recording this entire time on my ride here, but I guess not. So I've been living in this, in this city for many, many years and I never knew this place existed. I've lived here for over 20 years. A couple nights ago, 3 a.m., my buddy says, hey, you wanna go to this place? I said, absolutely. I wanna go to this place. Now, my, my attitude's a little different in this video because we are at the Smith Cemetery. This is a cemetery that isn't even on Google Maps. The cemetery is old. It's old, it's vandalized, it's abandoned, 1889 to 1910. Now, when you, upon entering, you get this really uneasy feeling because you're in a cemetery, of course, duh. But aside from that, this has been long vandalized, abandoned. People still come here, so I guess it wouldn't really make it abandoned. But I'm not crazy when it comes to the paranormal. I do believe in the paranormal. 1816 to 1908 and like the some of the weird things are you'll get tombstones with unfinished dates on them now you have these uh stones that are all broken up And sometimes you'll go to them and man, you'll be able to feel something up. You see that one there, it's all broken down. They said people still come here because there's still American flags. 40 years old. 40 years old. And when you come to the cemetery, if you go over there, there's always something. And this stone, this uh, burial site here, this plot is uh, pretty intense at night. Over there, I'll walk over to it, 64 years, still got pretty good lamination. You'll see that used to be one like that over there, but it's not anymore. This guy served in the military, so 23 years and 16 days. I believe he died in service, so respects. And you have this one here that are so decayed, they're, they're just nothing on them anymore. I'm sorry if you, if you can't really hear me all too much over the wind. I'm gonna try and talk as, as loud as I can, but I don't wanna like scream. But you have an entire family plot here, which I've never seen before. So I've never seen those before. 52 years, 30 years, or 80 years. I can't tell, it's too decayed. Beautiful sounding bike. 1851 to 1922, so she was 71 years old. You got those over there, which I've never really been to before. But there's a uh, tombstone over there and back there where I've come here at 3 a.m. with my buddy. And I, like I said, I'm not. I'm not like, if I step on a branch and it breaks, I'm gonna think it's a ghost. I'm not like that. I'm, I'm rational, right? So you can and torn down. 1902 to 1918, only 16 years old. 1940. Some of these stones are in great condition still. It's been in the shade, but. Father George, Mother Hannah, Smith, Smith, 
so it's another family plot. But over here is where it can get pretty intense. Got these broken down and tore down. I do have about a 40 minute video of doing a little investigation. I'm no, uh, what's his name? Zach Bagans of my city, because I don't do ghost hunting. I don't mess with ghosts. I believe in them, but I don't like mess with them, you know? But yeah, they're all torn down. I'd come over to uh, these ones here, like that one. I never knew that one was there. But I've only ever, I've come here three times at night. Just to give the little, like, are you a man test? Bah! And what's weird about this one is that you can see that there's nothing on the back, which should be the front, but this is the front. And you got wife and nothing there. Which I guess you got a stone there, but it's all woods. And when you come here at night, a lot of the freaking activity comes from these woods. Mostly you don't see anything, or at least I haven't. What you'll hear is like running in these woods. Like somebody, like, like it's, it's honestly, it's like out of a horror movie. You come here and like it comes from over here, it comes from there, and it comes from over there. So it's like you're surrounded. Like that one plot I was, I was at where it had like the, the brick, the brick surrounding by the tombstone. Like you've, you've, I've heard it, like I'm not crazy. Like I know like adrenaline is something, but it, it's, it's, it's insane. It's honestly insane. Like this tombstone completely knocked over, all broken up. And you got another family plot here. Lived to be almost 90 years old, 1841 to 1899. And a lot of these people, like this is an old cemetery and man, like a lot of these people died young. Died relatively young, in my opinion. In my opinion, 50 is still pretty damn young to die. Yeah. You could feel an energy coming from back over here. Like, I know that there's a whole ass house right there with living people in it, I'm assuming. But, you come over here, and, like, you've got these broken down tombstones, and it's like these souls were never put to rest, you know? It's, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. Like you got all these symbols on these tombstones and they're they're old and they're aged and they're decayed and broken down unfortunately because I don't know if like I don't, I've never heard of any stories about this cemetery and you don't know if a vandal came through if they're just obviously if they're decayed because they're so old around here it can get pretty intense too like it, I haven't heard anything over here but with this I call it the scroll grave like this is this is a stone this isn't a tree stump this is an actual stone and aged 56 years oh oh uh, this is a double grave and what's kind of crazy is that you know my buddy pointed out it's just like over a hundred years ago someone was standing over here lowering a body into this gra into this grave and it's just I don't know it just it's kind of crazy it's kind of crazy, man. I tell you what. Wildlife. But all the years that I've lived here, I've never, never knew this existed. It's a pretty aged flag, but that Margaret. I can't tell what that says. Died 1801. Died June 20th of 1801. Wow, that's this is definitely the oldest grave in this in this uh, in this plot. Yeah, the one I saw over there was 18 something. There's a bird on that tombstone. But it's secluded, and over there you have a street lamp. And, uh, yeah, it, I, I might post the footage. Leave a comment in the comment section if you want to see the, the footage of being here 
really late at night when it's pitch black and you only have this one it's like it honestly it's something straight out of a horror movie i didn't think i'd be man enough to do it but i got here and i was kind of like whoa like this is actually pretty intense so i'm gonna hop back on the bike because i'm starting to get a pretty good une uneasy feeling like i shouldn't be here even though it's an open cemetery you're allowed to be here but it's just uh just intense man it's just it's intense intense because then you got these symbols on here i don't know what they represent but i don't know what they represent andrew corey died 1897 64 years oh well even with all these damaged tombstones i hope they all uh find eternity find eternity in their happiest place that they ever wanted while they were living insane there's no like markers for the cemetery no street signs which I really wish I was recording which I fucking thought I was because you would have saw exactly what I was talking about God's finger touched her something something and she slept 1947 so yeah, this is the hidden cemetery. Cemetery closed between sunset and sunrise. Insane. Like, let's uh, say there's pretty much a homemade path to the to the graveyard, but nothing else. So I'm gonna hop back on the bike and hopefully nothing attached to me, which I've got my crucifix on. But it's a Catholic cemetery, so I'll be all right. So, I'm gonna get back on the bike. We'll switch over to there. Okay, so I'm think I'm recording this time at least. Sunglasses on. <clears throat> oh shit! I gotta unlock my forks. I forget every time. I gotta never lock my forks. But especially when you come to an area like this, like you never know. It's, it's good to have. It's real good to have. So. I swear to God, if my fucking bike doesn't start, I'm gonna be so pissed. All right. Yeah, you get a get a bit of an uneasy feeling going in there, but I guess I can talk about what I wanted to when uh. on my way here on my way there because I thought I was recording but I wasn't so the the story of how I came to discover that cemetery is me and my buddy were hanging out and he accidentally discovered it because he does fencing and around that area is some is some houses and he was looking for free pallets and he came down that road and he thought that that was a, a road himself and when he went down there, he saw the, the sign that you saw in the in the thumbnail of the video and was like, oh, holy shit, like, I've never, like, he's lived here as long as I have. And he never knew that was there either. So it's kind of crazy. It's like, this is, too, this is too small of an area to not know where everything's at, you know? It's just like you have that one neighborhood or that one block or that one s real small city where everybody knows each other. And that's definitely this city or this area, but say nobody I've lived here almost 23 years and I've never even knew that was there and nobody talks about it and people who are big enthusiasts of, uh, of like cemeteries paranormal whole nine yards my best is coming undone of course that guy's on a Harley electrical ad of course he ain't gonna give peace to somebody who's not riding a Harley silly me to expect that my best is about to come undone yeah damn it but anyway we go down there and we're chilling at my house and he says, hey man, you want to go to this cemetery that's pretty pretty damn hidden to the public? So it's already 3 a.m. So, you know, it's just like, okay, yeah, sure, let's go to a fucking cemetery at 3 a.m. How, how bad can that be? And, like, obviously nobody died, but, god damn, I remember this road being this bumpy. We get in this truck, we, we head over there. I got a couple pictures and videos. Like, I'll, I'll leave some short snippets of the 
of the footage of being there at 3 a.m. and then we went back another day and went there at midnight and I did a whole fucking like a 40 minute video of like investigation like I was talking about earlier when I was at the cemetery. I'm going to turn here because this road is bumpier than all shit and I don't like it. Don't like it, it hurts my balls. Just kidding. Fuck you, I'm going, fuck police. Coming straight from the underground. But yeah, I got a whole like 40 minute video that I want to upload to the channel, but it's not really motorcycle related, so I've been in limbo about it. This guy does not know what he's doing. I really should pull over and fix up my vest, but I think I'll be okay. Okay, yeah, he's looking for a house, but yeah, I don't know whether or not to upload it to the channel or not. I uploaded a few snippets to my Instagram at Esoteric Rider, shameless blog. So if you guys want to see that video, leave a comment and let me know because I'd, I'd love to upload it to you guys, at least put it somewhere. Like I said, I think I captured some pretty good voices. Some pretty intelligible response. Well, I wouldn't say responses because I don't really ask many questions, and when I do, I don't re I don't get anything in response. But I think I've captured some pretty good voices. It's just when you go back into that wooded area where that lighthouse-looking tombstone is, like you can, there's this video where you can that I have that you can hear the footsteps running up to me, and I'm just like, nope, fuck it, I'm out. And it, honestly, it's it spooked me pretty damn good and I backed the fuck up because I'm like whatever the fuck it is it's coming at me because I didn't it could have been a moose for all I know you know what I mean like fuck a ghost or some bullshit but it's like I couldn't see anything but man I tell you what that it was it was pretty intense that night pretty intense but I, I got out unharmed and I got out fucking unpossessed so pretty happy about that so I, I think I think that's a win there and, uh, another thing I wanted to uh, mention before I end this vlog is that I ended up getting a whole new uh, 3.5 adapter for the GoPro because I recorded one uh, about a week or two ago and it ended up just cutting the audio completely out and apparently these adapters are notorious for this problem and I see exactly what they're talking about. I figured maybe I'd be lucky and not get one that does that. And I'm hoping and I'm praying to God that this audio doesn't get cut. This audio is completely unharmed and unscathed. I'm just glad I didn't use it during the cemetery portion. I just used the standard uh, GoPro microphone, which I'm gonna apologize again if you guys can't hear me all too well. It's like I, I felt the need to be quiet because I'm in, it's like, it's like going to a library. You know, you feel the need to be quiet, but you really don't need to when there's nobody else in the library, right? But. That's uh, that's what I'm hoping for. But it's a 90 degree day, I've got my vest on, riding my 2020 Honda Fury. Man, life is good. Life is good, my friend. Life is good. I think next time what I wanna do, go to another even like haunted, haunted cemetery late at night, but the problem is the cemetery that I want to go to is in the open. It's not closed off like that. And it's it'll be hard to actually be there for a while and gather footage, like actually make something out of it because even though it's on a pretty secluded dirt road, uh, you never know, man. Five overs might come up and be like, dude, you guys are, need to get the fuck out of here and give us tickets for shit that we didn't really do anything wrong. Unless being at a cemetery in the dead of night is wrong, but you know, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a ghostologist, so yeah, I don't, I don't really know about that one. So, but in the meantime, if you guys enjoyed this rather different and creepy moto vlog, leave a like, leave a comment if you want to see the, the night footage that I took. Ugh, the night footage that I took of going to the cemetery a few days beforehand. And I will be sure to upload it to you guys in full. No edits, no cuts. I'm gonna have to edit because there's some strong language in there. My buddy's pretty, pretty unfiltered. And I would definitely probably get a, 
what is it, canceled now? What, we're, are we still on cancellations at this time of year with all you soft ass people? I, I'd get pretty canceled uh, before I even got out of the gate uploading that footage with uh, the strong language. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys in the next vlog. So, as I say in all of my videos, be safe and ride free. Peace out.